That's what I'm looking for for that rest. Yes, Lord. But you know, before you take some rest, you have to do some work. Do you want to be tired? And I want to be tired so I can have a, just sit down and rest. Yes, Lord. I'm looking forward to that day. Yeah. Next, we have a short talk by Brother Anthony Mano. <laughs> Next, we have a reading by Sister Bill. Yes. And at four, it's the eyes of God can see. Darkness covered everything. Darkness covered everything. Like it's in the hundred midnight, down in a side just one. Then God reached out and the light broke. The darkness rolled up on one side and the light stood shining on the other. And God said, that's good. Then God reached out and he took the light in his hand and he rolled the light around in his hand until he made the sun. Explain and he set that ground in the heavens. Yes, Lord. And the light that was left from the making of the sun, he gathered it up in a shining ball and flinged it against the darkness, splitting the night with the moon and the stars. Explain it, honey. Then down yes, between Lord. the darkness and the light, <laughs> God said, that's good. Uh -huh. Then God stepped over to the edge of the world and he cut out the second. Uh -huh. He batted his eyes in the lightning flash. He clapped his hands in the thunderbolt. Yes. And the waters above the earth came down. My God. And the cool My waters God. came down. <laughs> Bless the Lord. The love red flower was blind. Yes, Lord. And the pine tree turned his finger to the sky. And the oak spread out his arms. Mm -hmm. And the lakes curled down in the hollow of the ground. And the rivers ran down to the sea. Yes. My and God, he My stopped. God. And he, he looked and saw that the earth was hot and bare. Mm -hmm. So he stepped over to the edge of the and he spat out the seven days. He batted his eyes in the lightning flash. He clapped his hands in the thunder roll. Yes, and the waters above the earth came down and the moving waters came down. Uh -huh. Then God, he raised his arms and he waved his hands over the seas and over the land. Uh -huh. And said, bring forth, bring forth. Then quicker than God to drop his hand, fish and fowls and beasts and birds. My God. Swam the rivers <laughs> and the seas, no. roamed the forest and the wood, and split the air with their wings. Mm -hmm. And God said, that's good. Mm -hmm. Then God walked around, and God looked around at all that he had made. He looked at his son. He looked at his son. He looked at his little star. Yes, no. He looked on his world with all the beautiful things. And God said, I am the one to see. Then God sat down on a side of a hill where he could meet. Uh -huh. By the deep wide river, he sat down. Uh -huh. With his head in his hand, he thought, and he thought, yes, no. Kill me, thought. Uh, up from the bed of the river, God stood the plague, and by the bank of the river, the seal come down. And there the great God Almighty, who lit the sun and fixed it in the sky, made the sun the most popular night around the world in the middle of his hands. Yes, the great God, like a mama bending over her baby, kneeling down in the dark, toiling over a lump of clay, until he shifted it to its song in it. Then he flew into it the breath of life. Yes, Lord. And man became a living soul. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. For creation. We are living souls. Because we have the breath of God in us. So everything that has breath, praise the Lord. Now we have a solo, a Sister Hayes, is she here? Nice. Next we have a short talk for our brother Andrew Love.
I was I was thinking that everybody was laughing because when they said short. Well, somebody the quiet there with I uh I was spiritually led, uh -huh. if uh, everybody sort of gets the drift, you know. I told Deacon Thomas, I mean Deacon Bill, I said, look, it, they, they singing our songs. You gonna get up here anyhow, so you might as well go on up there and join them. So I, I took the liberty uh, thinking uh, about the Deacon board and thinking about my position at this time and thinking about the years that I've been here at Greater Star and all there is. And I just felt compelled to say something. Now, please understand, I like the pastor, I'm a young man. If I don't look it, I may act. You gotta stay with me. Uh, I have a tendency to be long-winded, zealous, you know, ready to go and quick to talk. But it, 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 it's in me to be this way because, see, I serve God. That, 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 you know, so, so far ahead of me that, you know, I've been trying to keep up with where I think he want me to go. See, so, so please understand me. I, I, it, it is important that we be led in and of the spirit, okay? So we don't want to take and discount how the spirit works. Now, I was saying it was peculiar that Brother Beeman and I and uh, Brother Kerwin and uh, Deacon Brown were children when we came to this church. Uh -huh. and, 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 and I looked on the roads and I was saying that with 25 years of Deacon Brown, and I laughed at that this morning and said that, well, you know, see, God has a way of making a way yeah. uh, 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 from back then until now. And, and, and I stand uh, sort of a, an example and praying and hoping that I am uh, a, a future part upgraded stock in its future. And I would hope that, that the other members who are returning, particularly our young men, our Johnnies, our Normans, our, I, can't, I can't look out in the audience, but they know who I'm talking about, that they would see me, but don't see me without knowing God. See, 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 see God has a way of getting in us. And and, 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 and and taking us past points that we ourselves couldn't match. So so I'm saying to you, I, I'm sort of a witness to say that this is this is God's will. And and I desire this to be a part of greatest star in this future. Now I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna sit down. Uh, Deacon Thomas, Deacon Matthew Thomas, our former chairman, and I have had our our days of, of, of discussion and and, 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 and back and forth. I have had in the responsibility that I have been outside of the pastor that has been placed on me have been baffled. I'm praying daily knowing that God is able. But God needs and he has for us to communicate with one another. Right, right. You, say, you know, you, you got to help one another. See, so that's what I say. Tell your burdens to one another. For encouragement. Now, the pastor knows and Deacon Thomas knows that, that throughout this time, I've been able to, 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 to put my gift, stretch my hand to this man. And he has been a tremendous help to me. And I just could not, not say that to the entire church, that, that, that all these things that we're seeing here, we want to first thank God. But then, you know, he's placed it in the hearts of men. And then seeing it, it, it sort of has this way of trickling over to other men. Uh -huh. So, so I, I just hope that, that you all will accept my few minutes. And again, uh, we want to <coughs> praise God for its future. Yeah. A greater start. Thank you. Solo by Sister Glover. She is. Okay, moving right along. We'll have a selection by the Gospel Ambassador. They can praise him for what he means to me right now. Uh, it's been about 20 years. <laughs> it's been a long time since we did any singing together. And uh, when they called the gospel ambassador, I started to clap my hand for them. 
And Gladys said, you gonna talk. I said, well, what am I gonna say? She said, I don't know, you get up and talk. I just, but I, I can always give praises to God because he is so good to me. And uh, he's just wonderful to me. And I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord for Greater Star. I thank the Lord for uh, young Pastor Beeman. And for all of these old members that uh, Sister McCann's and see, I can't. Oh, praise the Lord. I was with Greater Star when we were on Fulton Street. I was on I was with Greater Star when we was on Roosevelt. Many hours I worked in getting this place together along with the other members. And I just praise the Lord for that time in my life when I was here working with you. The Lord was, was, has always blessed this church. Very, very friendly people. This is a good place to be. So at this time, you pray for us. I don't know what in the world we're going to sing. So it would be a surprise to me as well. But let's give Sister Gladys a hand. She can handle it all by herself. Amen. Thank you, giving praise to God, giving honor to the pastor and to all of you. First of all, I would like to say hello to everyone. And I thank God for being here today. I count it a privilege as well as a blessing to be here. I had to work today, that's why I was late. But I called um, Sally and I told her that I would be here, but I would be late. I'm going to try to do for you, the Lord tried me.
long hang low I can hardly see the road Then I ask the question low So I, I just want to say thank you, thank you, Lord, for all of my pain, thank you, Lord, all of my misunderstanding, church, thank you, Lord, all of my disappointment in my life, thank you, Lord, ah, I just won't complain. I didn't think I was going to make it to the mountain top. But thank you, Jesus. He is a momentary God. Sister Briggs told me, don't worry, you'll make it. Well, the encouragement. And I feel good now. But I said, thank you, Lord. I didn't complain. I just took Sister Briggs at a word. She said I was going to make it. She must have known the man that I know. But I needed, I needed her to tell me that he's still on the throne. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Sometimes I want to complain. But thank you, Lord. We get weak sometimes. But thank you, Lord. If you know what I'm talking about, sir, thank you, Lord! We're going to have a selection by the last choir. And a new administration. We are still continuing on in the name of Christ. We have made such accomplishments as Avenue Church signs and the making of Avenue Baptist School. This is why our choir today sings songs as we put it all in the hands. I'm sorry, we put it all in his hands. Thank you, Lord, for all you have done for me. And we are pressing on.
drivers, people are slipping away. The economy's down, people can't get no pay. As for me, all I can say is thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. Yeah, yeah. And the drug has a song to They just can't be Mothers and robbers And no place seems to be safe But you've been my protection Every step of the way I want to say Thank you Lord For all you've done for me yeah, yeah. It could have been me
wonderful time this afternoon. I hope you have. It's so good to see all our old members that I started out in great style with. And I'm going to ask you to continue to pray for me that I may go strong in Christ. Now I'm turning over to my pastor. I think to be a program that says offices. Amen. Our offering. We're going to ask our ushers to come and lift our offering. Again, let me say to you, God bless you all. Uh, I believe Sister Nichols wants me to thank all those people who worked so hard with her in putting the program together. Uh, I don't have a list of all the names that she used, but all of you who helped her, uh, let me do let, let you know that we thank you for all of your help. All of our friends that came back to share with us today, we enjoyed having you come over. Uh, don't let this be the last time that you all decide to come over and visit. Just come over sometimes when, when you can get away from St. Luke or from the other churches that you may be members of. Uh, Deacon Thomas, we love. Mr. McCants, Sister Norwood, Reverend, I, uh, Reverend Adams. We love all of them and for all their contributions that they've made down through the years. I'm also grateful for those members who have really been putting everything they have into making Greater Star what it is now. Their resources, their energy, their time, their talents. We say God bless you. There's no way to pay you here, but I don't think many of you are looking for pay here. Because all in what you do for Christ is going to last. And God says when he comes back in the rapture, he's had his reward with him to give to every man. So keep on doing whatever it is that you're doing for God and know that he'll give you a just reward. This year I didn't preach on the anniversary. Next year I'm going to preach. I think whenever the saints come together, this many people, Lord have mercy. All I could do was sit there and not preach. When I see all of these souls out there, and I don't know where you're going, I'm not sure that you know what we're in here for. I tell you, I want to tell the choir, wait a minute. Let me preach to them first. So next year, I'm going to preach if the Lord wills on the anniversary. Because you can't come to church without hearing the word, can you? Amen. We preached this morning here at Great Assize, didn't we? When I say we, I'm not just talking about me because it takes more than me to preach. It takes God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. She said in a song that I have God the Father above me, God the Son beside me, and I've got God the Holy Spirit inside of me. So I don't preach by myself. We preach. In times like these, you can't get along without the Word of God. In times like these, we need to know yes. what thus saith the Lord. So this, this year you had a song fest. Come back next year, we're going to preach. Now don't stay away because he said he's going to preach. Because preaching is the only thing that you can be saved by. Preaching is the only thing that shows you the way to heaven. A song won't do it. But the word of God will do it. David said, Thy word have I hid in my heart. Yeah. Not the song, because he wrote a lot of songs, but Lord, your word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. I'm just giving them time to count the offering, that's all. Because a lot of times we get in trouble because we don't let people know what they raise. So I'm giving them time to count the offering. Wow. Sister Gibbs, again, I have to personally say God bless you. She has always been an encouragement to us. And some of the other people that left, they can't always get back. But Sister Gibbs always makes her way back here. She's always dropping in. And he wants to say God bless you. 
Because the street has been dropping in more frequently. We're glad to see you, glad. Amen. All of those people who have been, just been coming by, God bless you all. And I just want all the greatest stars to stand up today. All of greatest stars that's here. Now give your own selves a good God bless you. And the reason I'm saying that is that anytime there's a new pastor, y'all still with me? Yeah. Come on. Anytime there's a new pastor, and that new pastor has been commissioned to bring about transition, it gets scary. But these people have stood by me this year. They've been complaints, they've been fussing, there's been some fights. But God has kept us. And we've ironed the rough places out. God has brought the mountains down and, oh, he's made the valley smooth and brought water in the desert. So, greater star, I want to say God bless you. People like Brother Sanders who spend so much time studying the Word of God. He's a great teacher. Yeah. Reverend Garrett, Reverend Frazier. Just so many of you, the deacons out there, they're, they all have been a support system this year. And I want you to know that we appreciate it. I see a deacon coming, maybe we can go home now. 